Hello, all our friends. Welcome back to Homestead Living. This is a long way today, isn't it? It is. Super exciting day ahead. And of us. what are we waiting for? For about a year. <laughs> tree planting. Tree planting for our patrons. Yeah, we've got a year's worth of trees to plant for our patrons. It's for our patrons who are at the $40 a month level. And the weather is really, really nice today. It looks a little overcast, but it's pretty warm and beautiful. Last week was the opposite. We actually had an unexpected snow come in and it was really beautiful. It came really fast, uh, but it melted really fast as well. We had two freezing nights last week as well. Slowing down the garden progress for sure. Yes. The pansies were all covered with snow and all of our tulips covered our, with snow. <laughs> and the puppy got covered with snow. The puppy got... <laughs> yeah, check out Thousands of Roots channel to find out about the new puppy. That's right. This week the pansies are bouncing back and look beautiful. We have a few lingering tulips that are hanging out but saying goodbye. There's also a bunch of new goslings on the homestead, so that's been fun watching them roam around. Yeah, so cute. <laughs> so, so cute. Uh, so we're gonna get on to the tree planting, but I do wanna say stay tuned to the end, especially Ginger. Uh, a viewer of ours asked a question about our trellises that we use in the garden here. And so at the end of this video, we're gonna just give a quick instructional on how we put those together. So stay tuned for that to the end of the video. All right, so before we get going to the homestead where we're planting today, I'll just give a quick rundown of who these trees are gonna be planted for. Uh, we have four trees to plant today for the Burton family. Thank you for your support. Uh, we have four trees to plant for Deanne F. Thank you so much for your support as well. We have three trees to plant for Cynthia S. Thank you. And then we have a bonus two trees that we're going to plant today, not for any patrons, but for one of our viewers. Sherry Robertson, you asked us a while ago if we would plant a tree in honor of your mother, Karen Paxton. So today we're going to plant two, two trees in honor of your mother, Karen. I think that's it. So we're going to load everyone and everything up and we're going to get going and we'll see you when we get there. See you there. Made it to the homestead where we're planting today. Lots of people to help. <laughs> Now. And that's what you've been waiting for. <laughs> Stop it! Stop, Stop it. away! He's trying to help. Okay. He wants to help. Fill her in. I'll lay down. I'll be submissive. Look, I'm good. <laughs> no, that's not... Is that kitty helping you with the map? No. 
She's drawing a map so they can put the variety of trees down and have a record of it. <laughs> having fun, Esther Pie? Mm -hmm. Okay, so all there is left is two chestnuts and two maples and dogwood. And they don't know where they want those yet, so we're gonna leave those for them to plant. But we planted some extra ones that they already owned. So I don't even know how many we planted, but the count's on the camera. So I, I asked Brent Walmack here if he would like to say anything to y'all. Well, we just want to say thank you very much for those that are supporting his channel and uh, this was a huge blessing for our family because we came out here about a year ago for the blessing that. And it's been a ton of work, but it's nice when someone comes alongside and, and gives you a helping hand. Um, we had some pre trees to put in the ground and then had a whole bunch more that was just a blessing. So thank you uh, all that are a part of that and I just appreciate it so much. All right guys, we made it back home and really had a blessed day today. It's a lot of fun being able to spend the day with our friends and uh, plant those trees. Thank you so much again to all of our patrons. We really appreciate you guys. Hey y'all, this portion is for Ginger and any of you who are interested as well about these trellises. What the deal is with these trellises is they're cattle panels. That's what they're called, cattle panels. Uh, their dimensions are four feet wide or four feet high, really, is what it's going to end up being, <laughs> and 12 feet long. So that's what these are right here. Super simple to do as trellises. They even work with chitlers climbing on them. <laughs> yes, they're jungle gems. <laughs> they hold up pretty well. As long as they're not too heavy. The yeah. children. <laughs> yeah, if, if anything heavy enough is rests on these, they will bend. And when they bend, they are very difficult to straighten back out. Right. So, okay, so what we did was we put two of them together right here. So it's eight feet, eight feet long trellis, so a double cattle panel trellis. Mm -hmm. And we did tie them together at intervals, like right there in the middle, they're tied together. And you don't really have to tie them together if you don't want to, but we did just to make them a little more secure so they act as a unit. Mm -hmm. um, but the main thing is these about 18 inch long rebar that we tied in here and and then tie the trellises onto it and honestly all the trellises need is something that it won't kick out on yeah it's just to keep them um, secure against the ground and not kicking out that's right so we used eight total of the rebar for the two panels four on each side yep four four for each panel yep and so the finished product here is we have two beds um, that are four foot wide by about nine feet long and an 18 inch pathway going through them. And the height um, is plenty high enough for myself and Kip, but if you are a tall person, you may want to um, kick your panels in more to the center of the bed so that the panels are a little higher and you can walk through the whole thing. I don't know <laughs> that I would call this plenty high for me, but with your hat on, you kind of scrape the top, huh? So, you know, even 5.9 is... So if you want these taller, you just move the bottoms of your corral, uh, cattle panels in. You move your bottoms in, so then the arch would be higher. Yep. And that's about it. And until next time, we pray blessings over you and yours. And whatever you do, do it with your whole heart. <laughs> You're hard to film, little one.